If you want to be successful in sports, you must have skills and learn the best techniques. However, it takes more than simply technical proficiency and physical prowess to achieve this goal. Whether you win or lose depends in part on how well you understand the game. The distinction between a professional and a novice is typically found in the timing of their strategy and tactics. There are many intricacies in the sport of pickleball, and as the popularity of the game rises, it's becoming clear that these details play a significant influence in determining the winners and losers of individual matches. While hitting skills are important, a player's all-around game is what really matters in pickleball. That's why in today's video, we're discussing the best of the best pickleball tactics that can instantly improve your game. Now, let's get right into the video. Number one, first get into the ready position. Beginners often make the mistake of standing erect with their paddle dangling by their side, regardless of whether they are on the court. Since you're not in a ready position, your response time is slowed and you may not be able to react quickly enough when the ball is headed your way. To prepare for action, keep your feet hip width apart when you're standing. Keep your body straight and your knees bent a little or a lot, whichever makes you feel more at ease. To become comfortable, I like to bend my knees quite a little. In my experience, responding and moving in response to a ball is much simpler. Instead of standing flat-footed or rocking back on your heels, shift your weight to the balls of your feet. If you need to make a quick move to catch a ball, this is the position to be in. Whether the ball is hit directly at you or you need to make a quick dash for it, you'll be in the greatest position to respond with your paddle held high in front of your body. Maintaining a ready position for your pickleball paddle will improve your playing anyway. Apply the paddle at the 12 o'clock or 9 o'clock position shown in the video. The aforementioned instructions for getting into a ready stance are generally true, but if you are standing near the non-volley zone, you may discover that you require a slightly different posture. Number two, make sure to get to the non-volley zone line as quickly as possible. Second piece of advice that has helped me improve my pickleball game is to get to the non-volley zone line as quickly as possible after returning the serve. While more experienced and skilled players may have different opinions on how soon after the return of serve this tactic should be implemented, for most players it's essential especially for beginners. You should make your way to the line denoting the non-volley area as quickly as possible after returning the serve for the following five reasons. Your opponent will likely take control of the situation and make every effort to keep you and your partner at the back of the court if you don't make it to the NVC line, as soon as possible. You can no longer take the rally by storm if this occurs. If your lover has eyes, they can see you and know exactly where you are and what you're up to at all times. The net obscures your opponent's view of your feet, making it harder for them to judge your movements. The third shot drop occurs when your opponent has to either place the ball strategically to get past you or volley the ball to keep it in but out of your reach. Quickly entering the no volley zone increases your chances of making a powerful smash or a well-placed dink. Now before we move ahead to talk about more game-changing pickleball tips, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing more informative pickleball content to you. Your little contribution means a lot for us. 3. Perfect your dink shot. A dink shot is executed when a player is stationed in the non-volley zone and hits the ball so softly that it lands on the other side of the goal in the non-volley zone. When both teams are in the dinking area, it's called a non-volley zone game. A nice dink shot is one of the simplest ways to win a game, and the pros know it. The ideal strategy for victory is to take up a position towards the edge of the court where the volley zone does not apply. This is fundamental to mastering the sport of pickleball. Learning the dink stroke is crucial since it is the foundation of the soft game, a crucial strategic facet of pickleball. 4. Perfect your serve. It takes practice, but mastering a powerful serve is crucial to your success in pickleball. Strive to perfect a deep serve that reaches all the way to the back of the surface box, close to the baseline. Not all players, but some stand too close to the baseline, making it difficult for them to get a full swing in on this stroke and making it more difficult for the opponent to return. At times, players will make a bad call on whether the ball is in or out and hence not swing at it, when they should have it because it was in. Get in several swing practices for a shot down the center of the court along the center line. This is the finest serve since the receiving player may not know where the ball will fall, which causes them to waste time trying to return the ball. Having a strong communication strategy with your partner is crucial since it might keep both of your opponents guessing as to who will hit the ball. Learn to strike the ball so that it lands outside of the volley zone but not too far. While you're serving, some of the players may be stationed well back from the baseline, making it more difficult for them to rapidly reach to the baseline and return the ball. You can find this point to be really simple. Knowing which serves your opponent can easily return and which ones they seem to have problems returning will help you target their weak side, which is usually their backhand side. Make sure you know if they're left-handed or right-handed players. Number 5. Develop the best skills for hitting the return of serve shot. Return serve should be smashed down the middle of the court into the receiver's court. Three reasons why you should. Anyone who is right-handed will have to switch to using their backhand. The net is lowered to the center to help you get the ball over the top. Taking shots right in the middle of the field might throw off your opponent's timing and strategy. The return of serve does not have to be quick or near the net. 
Successfully achieve substantial payback in order to prevent your opponent from taking control of the game by getting to the net. You need to set a deep enough defense. Number six, perfect your third shot drop. A third shot drop involves sending the ball back into the court in a manner that prevents a volley. The third shot after the serve is called a drop because it's hit so high that it flies over the net and lands in the no volley area. In a game of volleyball, the first two points are scored by the serving team, the second by the receiving team, and the third, the drop by the serving team. The shot is crucial because it draws the opponent closer to the net, giving you more space to advance to the non-volley zone line. Some pickleball players even go so far as to say the third shot is the most crucial. 7. Communicate with your partner. Someone should always call mine, yours, no, and so on. If your opponent hits the ball onto your side of the court and you know it's going out of bounds, there's no purpose in trying to knock it back or risking missing it. Before starting a game, it's always a good idea to have a chat with your partner to establish ground rules for working together. When playing with a new partner, this is a must. Number 8. Keep an eye on your partner when they're receiving the ball. You should stand just outside the non-volley zone line when your partner is receiving a serve. A pickleball player typically lines up at the line and faces their opponent from a horizontal position. Instead of staring straight ahead at the other team, keep a tiny turn to your body and head to signal to your partner whether the ball is landing within or outside the playing field. When the receiver is trying to catch the ball, he or she may not be able to keep an eye on the sidelines. Get the ball over the net and into play as quickly as possible rather than worrying about where you're shooting it from, near to the no volley zone, back corner, etc. Aim for the areas of the court where your opponent will have to sprint or make a strategic move to return your shot. Otherwise, keep your mind on making a shot that won't go out of bounds. Don't forget that the way points are awarded in pickleball means that errors result in you losing the ball and the ability to direct the rally. Keeping the ball in play is more important than making a particularly strategic hit as the game comes down to who commits the fewest errors. So what is your most favorite shot to play in pickleball games? Tell us in the comments. Also don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, then make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.